how those uploaded right and early for you guys. So you can relive that match as well as this one and the very next one in less than a day's time. Uh, we like to stay on top of our content and we hope you guys enjoy that. All right, game number one, Volcanic Pakuma starting out with a neutral fireball, not even moving. Nice counter hit confirm off of the crushing hit punch. A really nice setup out of that. Low profile of the short uh, elbow from the guy. Volcanic's just going to bust out with uh, the light punch. Big damage off of the standing roundhouse confirm. He's going to catch him standing blocking. No ZP, he's just going to opt to low profile to stay safe. So that could be a little risky though, because um, given the right timing and move, Nysol could actually possibly jump in and, and uh, cause some serious damage. Oh, nice. Getting okay, backed up. Went for the fierce anti air and he's plenty of perception damage, leaving him open for the Nice one, not call it. Showing that he has two frame reversal now and it's serious business. He's gonna get the the corner. Not able to follow up, just a little bit too far away. Creates a really positive pressure here. Nice. Kuma is going to punish with the wing. I don't think that's gonna kill. Very close to it though, within chip range. Nice. The XDP can't beat that. Akuma wins! Now, if Nice One was to actually EX Tatsu on Wake Up, just on Wake Up, I'm not sure if he would have hit or not. I'm not sure if that fireball setup was set up just for that specific situation. So, um, you know, if someone in chat could actually clarify that, I'd actually really like to know, and I'm sure the rest of the viewers would as well. But um, that was definitely a nice game ender there for Paul Clinic. Kuma, so he's able to take the very first game in his first to seven. Game number two. The stage of battle is set. Yeah, uh, for everybody in the chat that's looking at my connection with them. Please don't mind that. I have Arkansas Poverty Internet, and the battle has begun. it is pretty much the worst internet you could ever have. So <laughs> it kind of really, really ruins my connection when I'm streaming. But I wanted to be able to stream it. I put the quality for you guys. Nice block. Nice one. It's going to get the firm with the, uh, the target combo into the slide. Nice pressure here. Good confirm from the Dodging Light. He's able to confirm it to a standing strong. Just one light. Definitely takes some reaction to things like that. And he missed. No punish from uh, Volcanic on the block over there. He, he definitely blocked it and reacted, but he wasn't able to get a, get a punish off of it. Oh, this could spell disaster for nice one. Nice pressure here. No. That was godlike. <laughs> I'm not sure what Volcanic Akuma was trying to accomplish there with the teleport. I'm not sure if that was a missed input. Uh, he was trying to make a particular read. I'm not sure, but uh, that definitely could have been really bad for him. Good stuff from Nice One getting this uh, focus through the sweep and punish him with the crushing light. Nice, just blast through the crushing medium kick. I, uh, I imagine Nice One uh, went for a standing strong after the crushing medium kick. Uh, a lot of guy players like to do this. You can get a kind of set up your opponent pushes the button, but unfortunately, you cannot battle against the DB. Nice slide, he's gonna back this up, flip out of the corner. Nice one with a prime opportunity serious damage here. Not able to seal the round on him, but he makes sure to finish it with the target combo with the chip. Let's tie this game up one round to one. Tie it up one to one.
we're back at 200 beers. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that's watching and tuning in and supporting our event. Uh, this is Ultra Fight Night, Battle of the Pentagon. We do this every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We usually have anywhere from three to five, three to four bouts. Sometimes we even have up to five to six, depending on the event. But um, this is a three card event. Let me go and show you guys the rest of the card. Um, so, nice one in Volcanic Recruitment, our other card is the second bout for the night. We're currently rocking it out, and then we had DRD, Nike Bro, over at Broly, like Mag was able to take it over Broly, 7 games, 2-5, very, very intense close up. Um, later tonight, we have Bifu Coach Steve going up against the famed Wednesday Night Fights competitor, Jaru, and his amazing DiCaprio. So stick around, guys, we have plenty of action for you to watch. Let's get back to business. KIT, nice one. Are you ready? One game Fight. for one over Volcanic. Four players just getting warmed up. Nice finish. He's going to opt into the back throw into the corner. Volcanic's able to teleport there. Oh, Volcanic's just going to go for a TP. Not even risking any kind of fire punish. Nice one. Read that and hope for a while that was able to combo. Not going to steal it, but he's going to be in a prime position to get a meaty Lucian flip of the throw, catching Volcanic Akuma's standing wake up animation. Nice stuff from Volcanic Akuma. No punish on the uh, standing roundhouse. If the first hit only hits and the second hit whips, you're able to punish that. Going into the corner, what is Kuma gonna do? He's gonna teleport right back into the corner, allowing free damage to nice one. Amazing pressure here. Volcanic is on the fence, and he's gonna get stunned, and this is gonna be the round. Focus into the Nice one. 2 1 currently. Will Nice One take this all the way to 7 1 and end this? Very early for us, I don't know. But so far, this match has already started off at a much faster pace than the very first match tonight. If you guys are enjoying all of the content and want to continue supporting this channel, please drop us a follow. And also a subscription would help as well. Um, we definitely appreciate all the subscribers and all of our followers. Um, you know, we definitely don't have to subscribe, but if you definitely want to show support in more ways than just watching, we appreciate that as well. Um, we produce weekly content for you guys, and we try to stay very consistent. Um, long promo there. But Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is our free Ultra Street Fighter 4 weekly tournament. Every Tuesday night is our PhD Street Fighter Cross Tekken weekly. Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're watching Ultra Fight Night. Now, introducing Saturday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, EG Arcade. USF4 League Tournament Play, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Enough of that, let's get back to the match. Two games to one, nice one over Volcanic Akuma. Both players are fighting to seven games. Let's get started! Fight! Nice, doesn't get the punish with the stun uh, roundhouse that he wanted. Just come for Ooh, nice one trying to focus out, but getting caught with the armor breaker. And of course, nice one's gonna stay on the same side as he was in that positioning. Now, no meter here. Uh, Akuma again opting. Uh, that's gonna block. Yeah, not enough. So, Akuma again just blasting through after blocking the crashing medium with the DP. Just kind of reading nice on his attempt at doing the uh, standing strong after that block. And he jumped into nothing. Back up into a sweep. Nice one, he's going to get the first target. Short. Big damage. Not able to punish on the EXL. So that was a really weird wake up option, but it really worked out really well for him. So, good stuff from Volcano. Nice. So 
so the fireball was very slow, and it kind of looked nice for off on the actual black low or high. And as soon as the fireball hit, it put him in a situation to where he was forced to block if he wasn't going to reversal. And fortunately for Volcanic, he was able to guess and go with the overhead. He sealed the round, tying it up. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! Ooh, I am pretty sure Volcanic was autocorrected on accident to the, uh, the light kick demon because what I think he was actually trying to go through which is maybe a crouch tech after he actually landed on that side but we got uh, probably some motion with this joystick right now. We got an auto correct. Ooh, nice punish. Some serious damage. The guy able to do a, a real, real, real big amount of damage. Kind of this power up. Jump roundhouse into target combo. To seal that round. But it's still close to around. 60% off left. Pretty much an hour with the same strong. He's gonna eat a combo. Nice damage. Hits the bait. Follows up with more damage of his own. Uh, that overhead was actually safe. He had a nice one. Sealing that round in literally less than 30 seconds total. Guy wins! No questions asked. Nice one, uh, definitely demonstrating his ability to, to dominate off of his own momentum. Yeah, so I'm currently broadcasting live from my room. Welcome to Ultra Fight Night. The craziest and wildest players have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one will be declared the best! So nice one actually pretty much steamrolled through him that round. I'm not sure if he was able to just make a, you know, a lot of lucky reads and, uh, and land a lot of lucky attacks, or if he just outplayed him completely because he has just downloaded Akuma. It's but the that was pretty convincing. Still very early in the set. Volcanic did not get an anti air there. He aided hard. Also putting himself in the corner. Nice one dropping to confirm off of more potential damage. No follow up. Wanted to uh, keep the, the pre pressure. Ooh, nice, jumping out of it. Might as well just hold up. Yeah, so Volcanic's definitely playing very cautious right now, and it's not working out for him. He needs to get some more offensive momentum because he's not really capitalizing too much. There's been a lot of opportunities, and he's taking advantage of some of them, but... Nice one is really just kind of dominating. Ooh, nice punish. Nice follow up. He's able to combo that. Nice one blocking nicely in the cross up top. 
it always feels good blocking the drop because you know you're not gonna get swept and put into a horrible situation. Volcanic doing a lot better this round. Drops crush forward. If he would have landed the crouching forward, he probably would have capitalized into the forward the fireball. Possibly He's just gonna DP on a nice one. Oh dear. It all comes down to this. Fight! Nice. Gonna get the uh, forward. Big damage. Lucky enough to get the stun. He's gonna try to reset the situation. Nice one reading it. Opting for the EX Tatsu on Wake Up. All two frames of it. Nice speed throw. Yes, he definitely evaded the, the EX Tatsu. For that, he missed his fireball. One of them, but it was definitely a uh, very favorable situation regardless. Of that. Volcanic's able to tie it up. So far, both. Battles for tonight have been pretty amazing and very close on both ends. There's been no real clear deciding factor on who the actual better player is so far. Don't forget to stick around. We also have Jarun vs. Bifu Coach Steve, Rolento vs. DiCapri. Two of the five new characters that have been introduced into the Ultra Shin Kai Fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one will be declared the best. Training stage. Alright, our undercard for the evening Volcanic Akuma vs. KIT Nice One. Game number seven. Both players have it all tied up. Can either player get any kind of particular leverage over the other and seal the deal fast? Started. Let's find out. Alright, no punish from Volcanic Akuma went for the crushing like maybe into a Tatsu, but he's not able to get that. It's definitely a punishable for the game. So Volcanic definitely is mixing it up between the air throws, demon foot throws, and demon foot side kick. Because he's trying to throw a nice one into a situation where, okay, am I going to set it back out of this jump, back dash, hit a button? But to where Volcanic can catch up sleeping. And that's always good to keep the game going. Nice one able to confirm the offer of Volcanic landing into his crush and medium punch. He's able to confirm from that corner lead to other attacks. Nice sweep. Volcanic will be jumping into nothing, deciding not to apply the pressure. Expecting that possibly to break it. Nice one saying, I know what. Expecting that out. And is able to seal the round of four. Oh, a little bit of lag here. That could have also been on my end. I have a whole bunch of Well, definitely cautiously uh, staggering his attacks and trying to bait. Nice. Right. Jump on uh, low on the other side. That was actually really amazing. Uh, exactly blocking that. Now it's nice to time for attacks. The low profile didn't work out. Nice one chose the correct option there. Wow, just a normal Tatsu. Not even EX. And he's gonna do the EX run slide for the chip to bring it 4-3. This first 7 set on UFN Battle of the Subscribe to us on YouTube, guys. You can check out replays of this event and more. Usually, uh, you know, Ultra Fight Night, which happens every Thursday night. Uh, major fighting game events, such as KIT, Absolute Battle, Texas Showdown, uh, as well as PXG Championship and more of our original content that we host directly on this channel. You can subscribe to the channel and catch all of this action again. Or if you're just not tuning in and missed the previous bout, you can uh, relive it on our YouTube channel. It's the battle of the century! Fight!
really left herself open. Using that new standard medium kick technology. Nice, so that's one not afraid. Volcanic hurting, but does not give up. Dice one did not punish the uh, focus attack that was directly in front of his face. So it made up for it. Unfortunately, he had to use the meter, but he could have sealed it there without wasting the meter. Throwing Volcanic into the corner now. He's going to get the damage. All it's going to take is one more hit. Ooh, no stun. All right, I was wrong. Uh, so two more hits. Nice is going to finish this. Big damage. Five games, two, three. Guy wins. Over Volcanic Okuma in his first and seventh set. So, nice one. Definitely playing a lot more consistently as far as a uh, favorable advantage goes. KIT, nice one versus Volcanic Akuma. Alabama versus Massachusetts. The battle has begun. Fight! Hey, 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 I don't think Nice One has fallen for a single cross up toss in the sweep this entire set. Will the tide of battle turn? Fight! How long will this go on? This is the focus of the next game. So unfortunately, Volcanic backed himself into the corner here, and he's gonna get out. Give him a throw. Ooh, nice heading like check. So he's like starting up a lot faster than the button I think. And he's gonna get the off like, and he's gonna do it, and he's gonna bring it up to high games. Oh, six games to three, I'm sorry, I didn't upload it. This is actually gonna be game points for KIT nice one. Starting off very slow on the set and just come just deciding to just blow it up out of nowhere. That is a player adapting right there. Now can Volcanic do a little adapting of his own? I think he can do it. It's just a matter of whether he's gonna do it or not, so let's see guys. Definitely show some more support to Panda X Gaming, guys. Aside from following and subscribing, you can check out our Panda X Gaming officially licensed tees on the new 86.com website. Uh, check out our selection there as well as their selection of uh, officially licensed Street Fighter tees. They have uh, an amazing collection. You guys can check them out at 86.com. Definitely check out their shirts. They're pretty sweet shirts. Not to mention you have the new rebranding as well as that Panda logo there that you see. Dun, 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 dun. The battle has begun. Fight! Touch the very last game. No punish on the fifth second of standing roundhouse. Ooh. Again, lots of uh, whiffs in front of each other's faces going on the entire set. For both players, not just the only one out. Confirms with the hit. Gets himself out of the corner. Nice. Back there. 
Okay, so Ben, Volcano is really afraid now to go for uh, a lot of uh, meaty jumping setups. Profound sadness. Because of Nice One's ability to do the EX Tatsu. I mean, it's two frames. It's definitely really scary with you know a lot of invincibility. So it's nothing to play with. Nice One really not even punishing those second round houses. Again, two in his face right in a row. Does nothing about it. For those of you that don't know, if Akuma whiffs the second hit, if you block the very first hit of sending roundhouse and you whiffs the second one, you can punish that. You just have to be ready for it. Good. Uh, he doesn't quite get the, the actual combo off the fireball, but he does get a counter hit. So nice one was pressing something. All right, and I've actually been corrected. Honestly, why did I think? Guys, EX Tatsu was two frames. It was two frames at some point, right? Anyways, it's it's four frames. I'm, I apologize, guys. I've literally been saying two frames this entire set. Um, that is my apology, but it is actually a four frame wake up attack or reversal, uh, which is equivalent to Guile's flash kick. Yeah, so it was two frames in the arcade version. I think uh, the Ultra arcade version before they released the console. Okay, so that's where I know it from. Honestly, I haven't, uh, I haven't really been super involved with the game since Ultra launched. I've been handling a lot of uh, content for you guys behind the scenes. But um, shout out to Redman for uh, supplying that little bit of information. The stage of battle is set. Let me the score. Four games to six. The battle has begun. Fight! The first hit has been recorded. This shot is from who is the strongest? Once and for all. Very dangerous. Lots of tense moments here. It doesn't get a couple, though. Slide just at the safe distance there. The fear of So Kuma doing quite nicely here. Um, he has potential to, uh, to get closer to, to evening up, but he's definitely uh, <laughs> now in a bad situation. But he does have another round to fool around with. So. Ooh, nice sweep. He's just going to demon flip out and use the teleport activators to create even more spacing. Doesn't want any part of that corner. He'd rather play a uh, more centralized game. Nice damage. Tries to reset the situation. Not successful. Again, another whiff. Okay, nice one could have actually followed up the ultimate. Okay, I'm not sure if uh, nice one just knew that maybe the spacing wasn't going to work on it, but I think it's going to be okay. And Volcano and Akuma is going to tie it up. Bring it to 5 6. Making a comeback here. KIT Nice one still on set point, though. He's able to win one more. He can seal this entire set and go home victorious. But let's not count Volcanic Akuma out yet. He's shown that he can definitely stand up to the KIT Nice one's guy. Big shout out to all the viewers that are watching, 243 of you viewers. I want to say um, thanks to, let's see, some of the guys that are in chat right now. BJ Kalisto, TN Legend, Pichy Ice, my boy Pichy Ice. What's going on, AJ Redman? Congrats on your anniversary tonight. Redman is taking a break tonight, guys. That's why this crazy white guy is on the mic. Um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Solid X Panda. I am uh, the dude behind the scenes with everything. 
But let's stop talking about me and let's get back to the match, which actually matters here. We still have Jarun vs. Bifu Coach Steve as your main event for the evening, and that is Who next. Right here on Panix Gaming, guys. Nice one is ready to close this out. Already starting off with very strong, nicely. Throw into the corner. Volk just teleports out. Creates some more spacing here. And he gets the low profile forward into the throw. He can potentially create some stuff here. He's going to get the sweep he's going to. What setup he's going to do. Nice one creating the, the, the new tech there with the delayed wake up. Throwing his timing off. He tries a low profile again. Rather than just going for a DP. And he's going to get hit. I honestly think he needs to commit to an actual anti-air rather than trying to low forward. At least until Nice One proves that he's gonna bait with the, the jump in shoulder. Or elbow. Nice damage, still not enough to tie it up. He's gonna keep the meaty pressure of the EX Shock Fireball. Volcanic standing his ground here, just. Nice hit, he's gonna get the confirm. Gets a sweep down to the top. So again! Nice one, blocking every single cross of Tatsu so far in the set. Nice DP. Finally going to show that he's going to DP the, uh, use DP as an anti-air on Nice One's jump -ins. And I respect that decision. And I think if he continues to stay consistent with that, he can change this entire set and turn it around. Using the EX Fireball there to read a back up with Nice One. Can Nice One put himself in a situation to take the set here, though? He definitely has a life lead. Volcanic fighting back. Nice. Turning off the pressure like it into a combo into the corner. He's going to stay in the corner. Attempts to read a back dash with the jump back. Volcanic not falling for it. Right back in the corner. These past 15 seconds have been nothing but Volcanic in the corner. Volcanic's on the ropes here, and he's going to block, but he's not going to have enough health to take the chip. Nice one seals the set out. Seven games to five versus Volcanic Akuma. Puma Specialist from Massachusetts. Congrats to Alabama and Nice One for taking their UFN appearance tonight. But just because this match is over does not mean that this entire event is over. We still got plenty of action to come. But real quick, let's give a